Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? It's been so long since I've done a video like this and I'm so excited. By the way, my name is Janet Domihina. Hello, if you're new here, I make fitness content, lifestyle content, and everything in between. And I hope you subscribe. And in today's video, we are doing another weight loss video. It's been a long time since I've done a video like this. And we are talking about how I lost 10 pounds in two weeks. Quick disclaimer, I have several other videos on my channel where I talk about slower weight loss processes, okay? But this time was different. Drastic times call for drastic measures. I get married on Sunday and I was slacking on my weight loss goals, let me tell you. I was slacking, I was drinking, eating good in the last three months, and I really wasn't prioritizing weight loss at all leading up to the wedding until these last three, two to three weeks. So if you're looking for more like slow weight loss videos, go check out my other videos on my channel. I have a how I lost 20 pounds in a three months video. I have like how I lost 35 pounds in like four or so months. I have slow weight loss videos. I will be following those tracks after the wedding as well. So I have a couple of tips. I would put them on my phone and we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Tip number one. This is a sprint, not a marathon. And in my last weight loss video that I did, I talked about how it's a marathon, not a sprint, right? Meaning that you have to be so strict with everything. There's no messing up with your diet. There's no messing up with alcohol. There's none of that. You really have to make sure that you are prioritizing all of the goals that you're setting in place. So that means you're only drinking water. You're only drinking water. That means you're cutting out food by 7 p.m. Then you're cutting out food by 7 p.m. Whenever you're trying to lose weight in a smaller amount of time, like there's just no space for eating cookies, eating sugar. There's no space for the Reese's, there's no space for the Chick-fil-A, unfortunately. Unfortunately, y'all know me, I love me some Chick-fil-A. We're gonna get into diet in a little bit, but before we get into diet, I want to talk about today's sponsor, which is Let's Get Checked, and I wanna thank Let's Get Checked for sponsoring this video. One thing I love about them is that their mission is to empower people to live their healthiest lives by offering them health tests that you can take from the comfort of your own home. Too many of us skip out on getting our blood work done, getting STD tests, all of that stuff because we just don't wanna go to the doctor's office. And I understand that, especially in today's climate, but Let's Get Checked gives you the option to do it at home. Their packaging is discreet. It's super fast. Once you get your box in the mail, there's very, very thorough instructions on how to collect your sample. You put it back in the box and you send it off and you can get your results to you within two to three days. And your results are reviewed by actual physicians, medical doctors, and you're able to figure out your health track from there. I chose to take a wellness test. I took a cholesterol test with them primarily because heart disease is one of the leading killers in African Americans and I always want to stay on top of that type of stuff but if you're interested in taking like an STD test another wellness test checking up you're deficient on any of your vitamins they have a variety of tests on their website I'm going to leave all the links descriptions codes down below so you can check out let's get checked and yeah thank you so much let's get checked for sponsoring this video tip number two your diet needs to be clean bland honey very very bland and clean I'm gonna help you guys out I'm gonna give you some of the things that I've followed in the last two to three weeks water only no alcohol no sugars if I'm drinking a juice it's going to be a smoothie no sparkling water no none of that stuff oatmeal soups salmon and veggies. Charday sent us this cream cheese stuffed salmon recipe and I made it for Michael and I a couple of weeks ago. Shout out to Charday for that recipe because Michael loves that stuff, okay? I will make Michael cream cheese stuffed salmon and I will make regular salmon for myself on the side. Just because he's eating that, just because he's eating that doesn't mean I have to eat it too. And it's taken a while 
for me to get to this place because it's hard it's hard for me to see him eating like mac and cheese and stuff and not eat it for myself but drastic times call for drastic measures honey and i've been following this diet to a t being very 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 bland and plain with your diet is going to really help you be successful i have several videos from this journey like in the last couple of days i've been vlogging pretty much like every three days or so and check out those videos if you just check out my most recent videos you'll follow my days of me trying to really really eat healthy it's not easy guys like it's not easy at all but it's been really rewarding like every day waking up and like just feeling the changes feeling lighter feeling more energetic all of that good stuff so it's been really rewarding but it's not easy but i will say after like day three three your body just gets used to it and all the cravings start to fall off because in the first three days i wanted chick-fil-a i wanted all the carbs i wanted the sugars but like literally give it three days guys and those cravings start to just fall over like you just it just becomes a habit really quickly to be completely honest tip number three intermittent fasting is going to be your best friend mate it's gonna be your best friend, mate. I am not really strict on when I start eating in the morning because you know, it's early in the morning right now. Well, it's 11. I woke up early. I've been filming and stuff like that. And like, say I woke up at 7 a.m. to film. I would have probably eaten by like nine. But I'm very strict with when I eat my last meal. I like to eat dinner between 5 and 7 p.m. And that is like my cutoff, like 7.30 the latest. Intermittent fasting, I don't know what it is. It's chef's kiss though. I just try not to go to bed directly after eating. Like I try to do something like wash the dishes, put away some laundry, keep myself moving, go on a walk. Cause like by six o'clock, the sun's still out. Go on a walk, come back in. And then drink water and tea for the rest of the night. I mean, don't drink a whole bunch of tea, but you know, drink a cup of tea and then drink water for the rest of the night. You wake up in the morning and your stomach is on flat, flat, honey, and the pounds just start falling off. Something about intermittent fasting is just chef's kiss. And I've had to reprogram my mind with my man. Like, I'm gonna be talking about Michael a lot because like our relationship does play a huge part in my weight loss because a big part of being in a relationship is going out to eat, going out drinking, having a good time. You can still lose weight while having a good time with your mate. Okay, mate? <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> Michael gets off of work really late sometimes. Sometimes he gets home around like 10 p.m. Just because he has to eat at 10 p.m. does not mean I have to eat at 10 p.m. And I've had to condition my mind in that way. Like, I don't know, something about like, there's just something about like breaking bread with your man and like just talking about your day. But I can make myself some tea while he eats his dinner, you know, and just like drink my tea and talk to him and like talk about our day. Like, I don't have to eat what he's eating because sometimes it's just way too late and it's really contributed with my weight gain so all right the next tip i don't even know what number i'm on is <laughs> to increase your cardio okay so that's things like spin going running i went running the other day god that killed me i only did three quarters of a mile i, I was close to that mile but i was tired increasing the cardio helps spin Pilates, things like that. I have been doing boot camp, but not as much. I've been just trying to do more spin, Pilates, and a little bit of boot camp just to, you know, tone up those arms. I have a Pilates class today. I want to do some jump roping today, and I'm going to take Mila on a walk. Really, just increasing that movement is going to help you stay like toned. I work from home a lot of the time, a lot of days out of the week, and I've become a lot more sedentary and it's just really important for me to get outside and it's important for my dog too. I like taking her on walks. Her health is important to me too. So it's really great that like I prioritize getting Mila out and we go for a walk together every single day. I definitely am going to jump rope today. I might try to do like a thousand jump ropes today and then I have Pilates at 530 tonight and yeah primarily because it does keep your you busy and that leads into the next tip which is to keep yourself busy keeping yourself busy is going to be the best way for you to 
be successful in this journey, you gotta keep yourself busy. I find that all of this wedding planning, all this wedding madness has really kept me busy, honey. Really, really staying on top of like filming. Cause something about filming just keeps me like focused and I'm not, you know, sitting in the kitchen and trying to find a snack. So keep yourself busy. I didn't say this earlier, throw out all the snacks, throw them all out. When they're there, you're gonna eat them. So throw them all out. Like make sure you just don't have any of that. And that should be a tip too, throw it all out. Make sure you have a jam packed schedule within the day so you're not wanting to eat when you're bored. Well, let me tell you something guys, I am a bored eater. I eat when I'm bored. Something about it is just so comforting. Something about driving to Chick-fil-A, getting waffle fries and Chick-fil-A sauce, sitting in my car and watching YouTube is the best day ever to me. <laughs> it's a good time to me. And I love to eat when I'm bored. But I've realized I can't do that as much these days. So I'm very strict on myself. No bored eating, no bored snacking, none of it. Cutting it all out until summer 2022, honey. I am going to be a hot girl this summer. Just wait on it. Prepare to be sick of me. All right guys, we're about to close out this video, but the last tip, and this is a very, very, very important tip, guys. I really want you to listen to this. I know I've been joking and laughing and like, kicking with you guys this whole video, but this is really important. Make sure you are listening to your body. You want to stay safe throughout your whole health journey. And please, 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 please do not hurt yourself trying to lose weight, please. Listen to your body. If you are hungry, eat, okay? That doesn't mean run to Chick-fil-A. That doesn't mean cave and eat a mountain of cookies, no. But if you are hungry, make yourself some food and eat it. Okay, do not hurt yourself trying to lose weight. When I start to feel hungry, you know, yes, I'm a bored eater, but I know what hunger is and I know what boredom is. I know when I'm just bored. I know the difference, okay? And you should know the difference too. Start trying to be a little bit more in tune with your body and learn when you're hungry or when you're bored or when you're thirsty. Drink a bunch of water if you still have those feelings. Get yourself something quick to snack on, whether it's some fruits, maybe some veggies, some green beans, whatever it is, guys. But make sure you are being healthy and listening to your body and eating when it's hungry, okay? There's been some videos where I'm like, I'm not eating dinner tonight because I'm not hungry or I'm just drinking soup tonight and then calling it a night. If I was truly hungry, I wouldn't do that. But if I feel like I can just drink soup and then call it a night, then I'm gonna just drink soup and call it a night. But if I feel like, oh, the soup just isn't enough, and I'm starting to feel a little faint, okay, maybe I should eat some type of, you know, simple carb, something quick to kind of like bring my blood sugar up and keep it pushing, okay? Do not hurt yourself trying to lose weight, guys. It's not worth it. You have one body. Love her, okay? Love her, take care of her, okay? You only have one. I know we're super excited for Hot Girl Summer. Hot Girl Summer's coming up. Okay, we're, we're, we're trying to be cute. I'm gonna be in braids all summer long. I'm gonna be, you know, living my best life this summer, traveling, all the fun things. But do not hurt yourself trying to lose weight. I'm just gonna say that. I'm gonna leave it at that too, okay? Remember to eat, drink your water, listen to your body, and stay safe out there, folks. Stay safe out there. Ah, this was fun. I miss doing these videos. I've been doing a lot more of these videos and it's been so fun to like bring back these topics and as I lose weight, I'll be updating you guys. Um, I'm not gonna be doing the fast track weight loss after my wedding. I'm gonna go back onto more of a slower track, but I am gonna be a little bit more strict. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can follow like my journey because I have been vlogging a lot more and bringing you guys into my life a lot more and it's felt very great and organic to me and I love talking to you guys. I love bringing 
bringing you guys in to my everyday life. I can't wait to like have you follow me on this journey. Slim thick for hot girl summer. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't know when this video is going to be posted. It might be posted after the wedding. It might be posted on the wedding day. We'll see. Ah. <laughs> but yeah guys, make sure you guys check out Let's Get Checked down below. Thank you so much Let's Get Checked for sponsoring this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out Girl Scout. Bye. <laughs>